really i just wanted to get on here and document because this is the last time you're gonna see my hair look like this like this today this is the last time that it's gonna be like this you know like well it's not the last time it's gonna be dirty i tell you that but it's the last time it's gonna be this color my people it's my people i want to talk to them i want to talk to them i got a lot of stuff going on <clears throat> whoops learning how to um instant lock i got a lot of stuff going on i'm naked too so just in case you were like girl i just saw your boobs a little bit yeah you did so and so you ain't never seen saggy boobs before okay tomorrow well first of all you're probably looking at this monstrosity and thinking what is going on with you well tomorrow i'm going to be th these are some test locks this test locks over here i'm going to be changing my hair color tomorrow and my lips are so chapped hold on Um, yeah and so also my hair is so dirty but I asked my colorist um I said should I wash my hair before I get ready to bleach it and she said no that the bleach is gonna you know <laughs> eat through the dirt or something like that and I was like oh my god okay so I didn't wash it I'm just doing what she said she said don't um wash it I'm assuming she doesn't want me to put doesn't want me to mess it up or something like that i'm not sure but i am good at following directions i am good at following directions and so i'm just not gonna do anything to it tomorrow my appointment is at 8 30 and i am so excited got some other got some other good news i am moving salons so right now i'm at a natural affair located on poplar in memphis tennessee but i'm going to be moving to a very new salon it is called love is in the hair and it is located on germantown parkway in cordova and um, i'll be working right down the street from my two best friends Anna and anivia they live like a light away they live a light away like a light or two away from the salon i'm gonna be going to so i'm so happy to be working very near them because i love them so much now the next thing that you need to know about me is that um well tomorrow i'm getting my hair done but tuesday i'm going to be going to dolphin island with Annie, she is half of my best friends. We are driving to Alabama to be on the beach and be, you know, sexy and 30 years old and stuff like that, that kind of stuff. So I went to Tori and I actually found this very beautiful swimsuit. Um, it's so cute. It's a, it's, um, it's got this cover up too. The cover up might be a little much, but it kind of makes me look like old money. So I'm like, I like that look. I really do like that look. So I'm going to, I got it. It's really pretty. I spent like a hundred and something on it. Um, Torrid, if, if you're, if you're fat, if you are, you know, fat, and some awkward places and little in other places, I would suggest you go and try to find a swimsuit and tour it because they do really good at having swimsuits. Those swimsuits, you know, they're gonna cost you, but shoot, it's still the best place to me for trying to find something to wear for your body. Um, for instance, my stomach is very round and roly-poly at this moment, and my hips are really narrow. My boobs are big and my frame is also narrow. So it's kind of like, um, my mom was, would say this about me. Um, she, she would say like, you got such little feet, but you're so fat. Like, you know, um, which may not be the nicest thing to say, but, um, but what, what I'm saying is my frame is small, but I'm overweight. 
And Tora has some good bathing suits for, you know, for you if your body type is sort of abnormal, I guess. Or if you're just, you know, overweight and you need to find clothes to fit the body that you're wearing right now. You need to go to Tora because it's really cool. Now, I want to show you my hair, even though it's super dirty. I guess I don't really need to just show you the dirt. But I will show you what's going on with it can you see it uh, and then if you look on the back we were testing these the locks out that got blonde trying to see how high we can go we can take with uh with the with the lift how much lift can we get and that's going to tell us what kind of color and stuff that we can do for my hair now i'm super excited about this but you know my hair has been processed and um i'm like at this point it either is going to be what i want it to be tomorrow or i'm going to be rocking a taper cut so yeah you tell me god what's gonna go down tomorrow because i'm hoping that I, I'm, I'm i'm really hoping that i can get what i want but if i can't i mean i'm gonna get something else that i want you know what i'm saying so this is um a few months of new growth i feel like it don't look like it usually do when i when i got a whole bunch of new growth it's definitely dirty though look at all that i should have not put no um edge control because that shit that didn't even work it didn't even stay down <clears throat> um so many people have told me that oh i love your hair i just love the colors and i'm like what are you looking at because but i don't say that i just say thank you or no actually i do say thank you but i try to go it's not finished but thank you, you know, I don't want you to think that <laughs> that I'm doing this on purpose. Well, I guess I did do it on purpose, but it's not on purpose, purpose, you know. But yeah, that's all. Stay tuned because the next video is actually going to be the process of making my hair be different. And you wouldn't want to mess up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>